Family, uh, what happened to Ronald Green is very typical of the history of this country. It's sad when you can say that that's typical. Nonetheless, it's still very hurtful and shocking to see those images of that man the way he was. For those of you who saw it, it was, it was hard to, to look at. It was hard to comprehend. Yet it was easy. The reason why it was easy is because this kind of stuff has been happening in this country for so long. It's, it's getting to the point where you're no longer shocked nor uh, surprised by these things. But nonetheless, nonetheless, you are still hurt because you're saying, how could people be so cold? I'm trying to tell y'all that coldness, that hatred is built in. It's built in a lot of people. It's built in. It's a spirit of hatred. In this case, we're talking about racial hatred. There's even gender hatred. You have people of their own, in your own race can't stand you. Black men against black women, black women against black men. But I'm not going to be talking about that in this video. I'm just trying to show you all that the spirit of hatred is a very powerful demon. It's a very powerful demonic spirit. And this is why it is able to accomplish so much in this world. Because people, it attaches itself to people who already have a certain spirit about them. Now, we talked about these spirits of a person before. Your spirit is your personality or your attributes or your um, thinking, your personality. Some people have a very calm personality. Some people are very angry all of the, all of the time. Some people are very touchy. Some people are moody. These are spirits, right? And heavy-duty spirits such as anger and hatred... They try to attach themselves to certain people that already have certain spirits. And so when you see what happened to Ronald Green, there was a there was a spirit already present in the people who did that to him. This is why when he said to them, I'm scared, I'm sorry, you're my brother. They were not moved by those words. They weren't moved by his fear. They weren't moved by um, him saying that he's sorry. Although he did nothing wrong, they weren't moved by it. He said, brother, that probably inflamed them even more when he said, you're my brother. Now, for us, when we hear those words, it makes us feel and see the terror that that man experienced. Probably already knowing. Oh, my goodness. He probably already realized that he was going to be losing his life. Sometimes, family, when you think about these things, it is very difficult. But you got to get through these things. You got to get through it. You have to be able to try to reach someone, try to, try to get someone to pay attention to what's going on. When the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places and in low places, against principalities and powers. Is letting you know that people, the people that you think your battle is with, they are actually occupied by demonic forces. The men that did that to Ronald Green, they were possessed by a spirit of hatred and murder. That spirit of hatred graduated to a spirit of murder to where you can hear them celebrating. Celebrating the wounds that they were placing on Ronald Green's body. The injuries. They were celebrating the injuries that they were inflicting upon him because they were filled with such rage. That's a spirit as well. Anger. That's a spirit. Hatred. That's a spirit. Murder. These people had a legion. I just named four different spirits. Demonic spirits that these people had on them in order to carry out what they carried out against Ronald Green. 
there was a celebration in their minds and in their hearts for what they were doing to this man. A very, very sadistic nature. That night, I can, I can bet they said that they found them one. One what? Somebody that they can carry out that rage and anger and hatred. They found the object that they were able to inflict all of that rage and anger and hatred and murder upon. And they celebrated. Because they live in an area where there are certain principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places that navigate throughout this country and that hoover above and around and throughout this country that has been kept alive by the very system, the very system that is supposed to keep law and order. That tells you that many of the laws are this. We will let them do that to you because we don't care about you either. For so long, they tried to cover this thing up. This was a system doing it, not just the, the person or the perpetrators. This was his bosses. This was a whole city. People who knew about this. Everybody working together to cover up the crimes of a few. And it wasn't until more and more digging from the outside started to happen that they decided to let him go and then he dies in a car crash. How can a system lie and say that a man who was killed by police died in a car crash? None of it lined up with their, their version of the story. Even the doctor said, wait a minute. You said he died from a car crash, but he has taser prongs in his back. So that means there was an encounter there. And his injuries were not consistent with a car crash. So we have a system where people have set precedent after precedent after precedent on lies. People in charge... People in charge willingly telling lies. Others willingly accepting it, knowing that these people have a history of doing this to the same group of people over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Same old story, different time, different name, different face, different zip code. Sometimes it swoops back around, same zip code, same... <sighs> mm -hmm. Same perpetrators in some cases. Some of these officers have had a history of doing this to people over and over again. And they keep putting them right back out there because in reality they are applauding them. This is why some of them, they walk away with big paydays because America is rewarding them. Saying, look, we are so proud of you for taking out another one. This is literally what it... What it um turns out to be this is literally what they're saying without saying it and so when I see stories like the Ronald Green story it's, it's something that's being replayed over and over with a different face different players different police force same results where the system will cover up because just like it was prophesied that these people would do these things to us and find themselves not guilty. In other words, when they find themselves not guilty, that means they investigate themselves and they determine that there was nothing done wrong. I'm pretty sure that somehow, had that officer, the one officer lived, somehow they probably would have figured out a way to say that he was justified in doing all of that. Now, some of you may not know this, but they handcuffed Ronald Green. They tied his legs. And he was face down on the pavement. Hard pavement. And they drug him face down. Oh my goodness. Y'all have mercy. They drug him face down. And threw him in the back of their vehicle like a dog. 
You can't get no more cold and dead in your heart than that. This is this country. This is the world. Black people in America are not the only ones who have faced this type of terror. All around the world, if you look at the Whited Out series, you will see, especially Whited Out Part 2, background check on the white man. For a long time, that documentary was banned. We had to re-upload it just to get it back in the system again. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it gets banned again, but it was originally uploaded years ago. And much of the stories that are being told was being told by them. They just don't like their story being told. This is why they want slavery out of there. They don't want nobody talking about it. They want it out of the schools. They don't want their children to be troubled with their history of treachery and terror against so-called black people. All right, these mosquitoes are starting to really tear up out here. I need to go on and head on inside. You know, sometimes this stuff can be very, very heavy on you. But the story needs to be told. Someone needs to shed the light on this stuff that is happening to our people in this country. And I'm one of them. So many of us are doing it. It has to be done. Anyway, I'm done with this video, family. Until next time, I'm out.